Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the fan in the background. It is super hot here. It is super late right now, but I have the fan on high because it is excruciatingly hot here. It has been between 103 and 105 degrees. And overnight it's only been cooling down into the 80s. So I have my fan running and I have it on high and I probably should have got up and turned it on low before I started recording, but I forgot and I've already started. So please, I hope you can hear me and you can excuse the background noise. Anyway, happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday. I am here with Maddie and Susie. Maddie was playing with the old 90s Blue's Clues toy. And I asked her if she wanted to be in today's video because she hasn't been in a video in a while and she said yes. So she stopped playing and she's just gonna sit there and look at you guys all pretty so that you have something to look at while I do a tag that has been going around. I watched several videos today with the tag and I know this tag is probably a couple of weeks old, but I still find it fascinating and interesting to listen to everyone's answers to the tag. So I am going to do the tag. So that is what we are going to do today for Friday. I do have some more shout outs, but I probably will do those on Sunday. So be on the lookout, maybe Saturday, but most likely Sunday for the next round of shout outs. So let's get started with the tag so that I'm not boring you guys to death. The tag was from Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. I hope I got that right. You guys, I have such a bad memory whenever it comes with names and phrases. I'm pretty sure it was Little Midwest Dolls and Reborns or Reborns and Dolls, one of the two. It was either my Midwest Reborns and Dolls or my Midwest Dolls and Reborns, one of the two. It might even be, it might have even been my mid, it's not Midwestern. I'm pretty sure it's my Midwest Reborns and Dolls. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I hope that I'm not being too bad with the name. I know I go to your videos and I watch your videos and comment on your videos all the time and uh, I should have wrote, wrote it down before I started filming, but there you go. There you have it. I forgot to turn down the fan and I didn't write down the person who started the tag. So please forgive me. Anyway, the tag was summertime memories. And I've seen a lot of people doing memories from their childhood and then also from their adulthood. Um, I'm going to do both. My summertime memories from whenever I was a child from the time I can remember, always consisted of waking up at like 7 a.m., begging your mom to go outside and play, but she told you it was too early. So sitting around watching cartoons until about 9.30, 10 a.m., and then your mom saying, okay, you can go outside. Going outside, spending the whole day outside from like 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. We had to come in at 9 p.m. during the summer. The street light would come on at 9 p.m. and that was our signal it was time to go inside. I remember dragging half of my bedroom outside to play with the neighborhood kids, toys. Um, that was every summer. I mean, being outside all day long. We used to eat breakfast before we went outside to play Lunchtime, we had quote unquote picnics outside with like chips and sandwiches so that we could eat outside so that we could stay outside. And then at dinner time, you came in and you scarfed your food down as fast as you could without getting sick so you could go right back outside to play. And we played everything that we can imagine. We played in the water, we rode bikes, we jump roped, we played hops, hopscotch, we played jacks, we played with uh, you know, like little people, we played with cars, we, we rode on skateboards, we did all kinds of stuff. That is one memory I have from my childhood. My next memory is from probably whenever I was about eight years old, all the way up until I was 14. 
maybe 13 was the cutoff on this. My dad was a huge treasure finder. And so he metal detected and he gold panned and he dredged for gold. And so we owned a camp trailer. And so every single Friday he would call my mom at noon and tell her to get the trailer ready because we were going camping. And she would get the trailer packed and then he would come home and he would pack like all the dredging equipment and the gold pans and things like that. And we would be gone camping from Friday. We would leave Friday night after he got off work and we would be gone until Sunday night. And I remember, although it was fun to go camping, it was not fun <laughs> to have to go every single weekend and not to be able to play with your friends during the summer that were only home on the weekends because I had friends who had divorced parents and they would be gone during the week and then they would be home, you know, where, home where I lived on the block I lived on the weekends. And so I never got to play with them because we were always gone camping. I mean, me and my sister made the best of it. We took toys with us. We took dolls with us. You know, we played in the creek. We picked flowers. We made little houses out of rocks and sticks and we climbed trees and played in the dirt and you know, collected rocks. And then, um, my dad taught us to gold pan. And I think I was able to gold pan by the time I was five years old. So we would dig, you know, the dirt out of crevices of rocks and pan them for gold. We did all kinds of things. And yeah, it was fun, but it got to be unfun towards the end of summer, whenever you had already went from like June, July, and you were in August and you were like sick of going because no joke guys, we went camping every single weekend for three days from the end of May until the beginning of September. And so it got kind of old. And I remember when I was younger, I would cry begging my mom, I just wanted to stay home, but nope, I had to go. So we made the best of it. And so those are my memories of whenever I was young. Uh, my adulthood memories, Pretty much, <laughs> we don't really do anything anymore during the summer because of the simple fact that I freaking hate the heat, you guys. My favorite holidays are fall and winter. Um, spring, I can kind of deal with, but summer, I cannot. When I was a kid, I could stay outside in the heat all day long. It didn't matter if it was 105 degrees. I could stay outside all day long drink out of the hose, have Kool-Aid, whatever, and be completely fine. I go outside now, and I don't know if it's just because I'm old and soft, but I go outside now, and after I'm out there for like half an hour, I'm like, let me back into the house with the air conditioning because I do not like this. So basically, summer as an adult, when my kids were little, they played outside like I did. They went swimming. We always had a pool for them. They went swimming all summer, you know, um, played with their toys, played with their cousins, rode their bikes, things like that. Kind of semi as to when I was growing up, only of course, whenever I was growing up, it was super, it was a lot more safer to play outside whenever you were a kid than it is or was when my kids were growing up. So they did that stuff but they didn't do it as freely as I did when I was younger. Some of you may be able to relate to that. Um, so yeah, my adulthood summers consist of going to town whenever I have to, when it's super hot, staying inside, and basically uh, doing things with the dolls inside because I, I guess I'm old and soft and I cannot tolerate the heat like I once did. So guys, that is the tag of my summer memories for childhood and adulthood. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as Maddie, Susie, and I enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye guys.